talk to him. Well, welcome to the Gastronomical World Tour here at the Whistler Conference Center. With me right now, world famous cook. Hey, Ross, what do we got going on here? Uh, I'll tell you, this is one wild night. It's going to be a lot of fun, Errol. Uh, the Canadian Gas Association is in on the conference and they have a dine around, a world dine around this evening. And what we're doing is five different countries of food. We're standing in front of the Indian Station now, East Indian Station, not North American. And we have back here, we have like curries with chutneys and couscous and uh, Indian style. We have bread. And as you can see, you might want to introduce our two little friends down here to the left. Sure. Well, actually, yeah, we've got some special guests over here, and we kind of like to take a look at these things. I guess, really, we're looking at uh, sort of Blackie and El Tigre, and uh, they're just sort of relaxing around here, are they? No, oh, they're just taking it easy, yeah. They are, are they? And uh, what's your name? Gary Oliver. Gary, where are you from? Vancouver. And are these your pets? They're my clients. They're your clients? Yeah. Uh, do they happen to prefer Indian food? Is that why you're camped out here? Well, uh, they prefer their food raw. <laughs> they do, eh? Have you been getting a lot of attention? Looks like they are. Yeah, they, people are really happy to see animals like this. Well, they look kind of uh, happy and placid. I guess you won't take my hand off, Woody. Aw, uh, there you go. Just like a regular old kitty cat. Well, Gary, thanks very much for showing and sharing your pets with us. We're going to take a little world tour here with the Canadian Gas Association uh, fun night and executive meeting here. Uh, it's a conference, and they're going to sample some food and some fare of uh, several countries around the area. And thanks very much for letting us share your pets with us. My pleasure. Take care. Well, as you can see, they uh, they seem to be doing quite well. There's an awful lot of uh, an awful lot of attention being cast upon them around the area here. We're going to uh, grab Ross. Ross, uh, I, I we do, yeah. And what's on the grill today? Oh, we have uh, barbecued salmon, barbecued New York steak, and of course barbecued ribs, sourdough rolls, home baked beans. Typical old West fare. Boy, I'll tell you, it sounds awfully nice. Uh, sure looks darn good too. I understand you've got some uh, some special chefs and cooks downstairs uh, that are working very very hard for you. Oh, uh, my old buddy, the Ed McMahon of uh, Whistler, of course, Jim. Jim Mogul Monahan is downstairs. We might catch up with him a little later. Well, we, we certainly hope we can find him. I'm, I'm teaching him how to cook. I figure he might be better at that than television announcing. <laughs> well, hey, listen, I'm going to do five five shows with you in a matter of about 10 minutes. I think it's great. OK, I think perhaps what we should do is just uh, cozy on down to some of the other pavilions and see what we've got for fair. Let's do that. All right, on. We have this evening for this splendid evening. Yeah, this is, of course, one of the highlights of my entire reign, I assure you. Now, the reason... Us, only you could arrange to have the Queen over here at the English Pavilion. Isn't that amazing? I, I wasn't sure she was going to show, actually, but there oh, you I go. <laughs> well, I noticed she's still pretty good at the Royal Wave. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, what do we have here for the Royal English Fair? Of course, this is, this is old London Fair, mm -hmm. and we have uh, roast beef being cut here by Dave. Excellent job on it. Hip of beef, beer and a beef. We have sausage rolls, we have the au jus, shepherd's pie, uh, London style beer battered fish and chips, and steak and kidney pie. And then dessert we have English trifle. You know, Ross, this is looking pretty good. How, far, how many more do we have to go before we can sort of sample a little bit of this? Well, I think we've got a couple more stations to go, I believe. Oh man, I'm getting hungry and that looks good. Well, I'll tell you, what, now what do you think, Pat, on the food? I think it looks excellent, but that's not the way they cook roast beef in England. No, no, <laughs> I always it's ruin it. <laughs> it's only North American roast beef, but I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it. The Remember, rest of it looks pretty good, though. The Queen has blessed the food, so we're all set. Oh, well, we should be okay. Yes, okay. Enjoy your stay. Thanks for coming. Well, okay. Well, look at look at We're in France, and look at who we found working out here, Ross. Well, if you'll recall from the last show last week, I said he'd never make a waiter, but he just might make a cook. He's disappearing around the corner there now. Boy, he sure does well, doesn't he? That's our Ed McMahon. Yes, he is working tonight in the kitchen. You people have put a marvelous spread on here. Look at the food that we've got over here. This is the French station, Parisian station. We have some, for dessert, we have petit fours and, of course, uh, fruit flambés. We're doing cherries uh, jubilee, and we're also doing a banana fruit flambé and a strawberry flambé. Roger, my sous chef, is dealing with the flambés. On the other end, we have quiche Lorraine and uh, a real boule base, a Parisian style boule base. You know, Ross, this looks great, and everybody here is enjoying themselves. Uh, the Canadian Gas Association is having a wonderful time. 
But how much work and how many people have you got involved in actually putting a kind of spread like this on? This was an awful lot of work. Just kitchen staff alone, there's been 20 people working on it. At service time tonight, there's 14 of us serving it. So. And it's only a group for 350, which is relatively small for us. Well, you're doing a marvelous job, and I know they're going to want to come back. Oh, good. Speaking of going back, I think we should tour perhaps just another one or two other places. What do you think? Uh, we've got one more to go, I believe. Well, let's do it. Okay. Last but not least, and certainly one of the busiest pavilions here right now is the Japanese pavilion. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the food? Actually, what this is, it's, uh, of course, you couldn't do, like, just Japanese, and there's Thai, and there's Indonesian, and Chinese, and so what we've done is a bit of a hodgepodge of some Oriental dishes. Vietnamese-style spring rolls we have, of course, wonton cookies, or the fortune cookies that we have here, of course, a stir-fried vegetable, Japanese chicken-style yakitori, chicken yakitori, a fried rice, and then another Japanese-style shrimp rice vermicelli salad. So this is a very popular one. Well, this is... Lucy, you get food like this all the time in Calgary, don't you? No, we don't. I'm, I'm sorry to say we don't. I wish we did. <laughs> well, you can come back and visit Ross anytime because he does this all the time. All the time. Yes. Hey there, we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs>